My name is Green, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I've got a bunch of decoration designs to show you. I've got furniture, tricks and tips, and build hacks, and all sorts of cool things to show you. The crew and I have put together a whole line of them, and every time I make one of these videos, I think there's no way I'm going to make another one of these videos. But lo and behold, we have 39 more. Links to the crew who helped me out with this video are in the, the description. So, we've got some really cool designs. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to start Starting off with my absolute favorite out of all of these. This is a lamp design. So essentially the bottom bit is the dome ceramic bit and then on the top we've got the lampshade itself. These two simple blocks, put them on a table, look amazing. Now you can't get the egg in the inventory, you need to use either a command or middle click a dragon egg in the end, which is unfortunate. However, once you actually have one, you can place any block. I'm going to choose the quartz pillar block. and. It really does make a difference. Some people look at it and don't see it, but as soon as you tell them that's a lampshade, it really does work. So if you don't take any other designs home with you today, take this one. Okay, let's move on, shall we? The next design is a very compact barbecue for your back garden or patio, whatever. This fits in pretty much any suburban house or modern house. Now, the daylight sensor on the top is meant to look like the grill, and obviously that will deactivate when it becomes nighttime, but it, it works. It works really well. We've got item frames with a couple of carpets in, they act like little cupboards, and we've got a custom head with a burger on the side. It's a really, really small design, but it works really, really well. So, that, I'm a big fan of that design. Next up, we have a grandfather clock. Now, I've done a few clocks before, but this one is by far the cleanest version to date. So, we've used a bunch of trap doors to kind of give it an outline and that surrounds a bunch of glass now behind it is where the real trick is what we've got here is an end rod with a custom head underneath now I know that they're not actually connected but if you take a step back you really can appreciate the overall look of the entire thing the only problem with that is that it does have to be two blocks thick as that is set in the wall itself Next up, we've got a new bed design. It wouldn't be a green decoration video without a couple of bed designs and a couple of table designs. What we've got is some spruce wood stairs upside down, and it's got a little bit of a cupboard design using a sign, an anvil, inside an item frame. It's a very expensive way to decorate, but underneath we have a chest so that you can actually sort of pretend that those shelves come out and that you've actually got some storage space under it. And then on the top, we've got a very standard red carpet and some pillows using snow. It works really well, it's a nice little design. Building off of that, we've actually got a new chest of drawers design. I actually used this in a recent video, but it is a really cool design. It uses some spruce doors either side and then a trap doors over the top to give it a nice framework. And then it uses signs, anvil, and the item frame. It's a lot of detail put into a very small space, which is incredibly difficult to do in Minecraft, but the overall effect is fantastic. Next up, we've got a bookshelf design. Now, this is a very simple one. Again, we're using a lot of trap doors. Be prepared for a lot of trap doors. We've got a few note blocks at the bottom to give it a base, and then we've got some spruce on top to sort of finish it all off. So it's all about giving that some framework, and this will help fill in any blank space or wall inside your house for your interior decoration. Next up, we've got a ceiling fan. Now, this is a cool design that uses iron trap doors. You basically start with one in the middle and then make a design, a spiral all the way around. And this hangs using end rods again, which also creates some light. So it's useful in that regard as well. However, it is very big. So you need a big room, especially a very tall one for this to work. It's great for coffee shops and that kind of thing. Next up, we've got another bookcase design. As you can see, this one's a bit grander than the one we just did. It's got some shelves made out of, guess what, more trap doors. It essentially uses exactly the same premise of giving it an outline, and then we used some staircases instead of the trap doors for once, and that just gives us lots of little nooks and crannies and allows us to create a really cool design. Next up, we've got a brand new table design. Now, it wouldn't be a green video without plenty of tables. What we've got here today is basically a very simple one that uses string and cauldrons to prop up some carpets. Now, the bad part about this is you can't actually put anything on top of the carpets, 
but it has a nice design nonetheless. Now, next up is another table design, but this one's really interesting because it uses rails to prop it up. And the way we actually make this is quite interesting. What we've got underneath the table is a barrier block, which is why it's invisible. You can use a normal block if you want, but it is better to use a barrier block if you can get access to it. So the way we make this is actually quite cool. So it uses a little trick with the rails. You basically place the rails all the way across so it connects up. You remove the one on the top and then you can go ahead and place carpet over the top of it. And then that creates a very, very modern looking table. Now you could leave it like that for a sideboard or you could add some more string and some more carpet to make it as big as you want. The first one of course uses the rails going both directions so it's propped up by four rails and the rest just have two. The only downside again is that you can't really put anything on the table so it will have to be blank but it's still very cool, it's a very nice design and indeed we elaborated on this into a brand new design where we created a picnic table using exactly the same idea. So instead of just having a flat carpet surface, it then goes and develops into an umbrella made out of wood and sandstone. It's got a nice little arching shape over the top, it's just made out of slabs. But the idea here is to take the technique using the rails and then develop it into something else. So I'm curious to see what you guys will come up using this technique. Right, let's move on, shall we? The next one is a flower design. Now, normally when we make flower pots, what we do is we get our grass blocks, surround them with either signs or trap doors, and then we add some of these smaller plants on the top of it. Now, if we add the larger ones on this, it really sticks out. It's just really out there. So basically the technique here is quite simple. You put the two high flowers on the floor itself and then just have the trapdoors surround it and it works even better if you give it a little outline on the floor as well. Works really well in gardens. Now next up, this one doesn't look good when it's out of context. What we've got here is essentially a towel rail or a towel rack and it's just using the end rods across two blocks and then we put banners between them. Now, the end rod is amazing because it's the only block that really sticks out just straight. If we use iron bars or anything similar to that, it's not got the same effect. So you will see a lot of cool end rod ideas. So the bounding box is on the bottom, meaning that the top bit will allow it to go all the way through it. So it can look like it's hanging, but it does also look like it's been impaled. And we're going to build on this a few more times. So we've got another thing that you might see maybe in a changing room or a utility room. These banners are sitting on top of barriers, but you see how we can take this idea and build on it and create more concepts and furniture and even just one idea using the end rod can be used in multiple different ways. Now to show you a few ideas of these in context. So that towel rail is over here just using cobblestone instead. So in the context of a bathroom, it does look a lot nicer. So you might use this in a changing room or whatever. It works quite well, but what I wanted to show you here with this bathroom is this shower room here because it's using a few more new techniques. So what we've got here is a glass box essentially around a basin at the bottom and we've actually made a door here that sort of looks like it's opened. But the main thing here is the fixed shower head. Again, we're using end rods because it's one of the newer blocks and it's been a while since I've done one of these decoration videos and we've got an iron trap door on the bottom of it that looks like the shower head itself. And then we've got some carpet over the top and it's the overall effect of this box that I'm really trying to show you here. So overall, it's a very nice technique and the banner thing is pretty cool as well. Moving on, but on a similar kind of way, what I want to show you here is an interior trick to kind of break up your room. It's a modern design, so what we've got here is sugar cane that's sort of sectioning off a bit of the living room. And then we've got a framework here and we've hidden the water underneath that framework. So essentially you build around the sugar cane and you can, well, you can walk through it if you want to, but what it does is make a room smaller without adding a physical barrier. So it's meant to be decorative. You might see a lot of these in sort of art deco houses. Now, next up, we've got more than one lamppost design. So if you don't like lampposts, I've got bad news for you. So let's get into it. Now, what we've got here is a more modern design. Now we use a lot of these like anvils and hoppers and that kind of thing because they've got really fine details. So we can get a lot of detail in a small amount of space. We also use the beacons because it's kind of like a sea lantern encased in glass. And of course it gives off light, which is excellent as well. So we've got another design here. They're really easy to replicate. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by explaining them. So 
it's kind of just a showcase of different ways of making lampposts or lanterns or whatever you want to call them. This one's a very simple one. This could be a suitable replacement in a vanilla village because they just use a bit of wool with some torches around it. This one is a little bit more on the complicated side. It uses a lot of anvils and hoppers. And that's a lot of iron to use just for a lamppost, so this is definitely one of those more creative mode designs. And then finally, we've got one of these ones that uses brewing stands, which is a bit of an odd choice, but it kind of works nonetheless in this design. And the next one is actually not really a lamppost, it's more of just a lamp that you could put inside your house. And I wanted to show you this one, it is weird looking, it is definitely weird looking, but it's the lever attached to the iron bars with another lever at the top, and it creates this sort of diamond or emerald style shape, and it's very art deco, so it could be used in multiple different ways. I'd love to see what you guys come up with using it, and then of course we've attached a light to it at the end as well. Right, that's it for the lampposts, hopefully that helped you. The next one is another light, but not a lamppost. Now this does look really, really strange on its own. It's in actually intended to be a reading lamp. So imagine in your house, you've got a chair underneath it, it's a very sort of modernistic Art Deco style. The end rod obviously gives off the light, which helps light up the room in general. So I've got a few more lighting techniques to show you and designs. This one is like an office design or even modern lighting. It's like a fluorescent tube. The fact that end rod gives off light is absolutely fantastic. So we've covered it round in some iron trap doors. Now you can activate those from above the ceiling or you can push them in via piston later on. I'll show you how to do that. Now this one is actually basically the opposite of the one I just showed you. Instead of the end rod being the light source itself, we've actually got the iron trap doors pretending to be the light and then the end rods are just what it's hanging from. But the amount of light that it gives off is actually very similar. So very cool designs all around. The next one is a very interior modern design. You can use this in a very large scale kitchen we basically got some hanging slabs of quartz hanging from iron bars and then some end rods in the middle that actually give off the light. It's quite a cool technique and you could make various designs using this idea. I really enjoy this one. Next up, we've got a fireplace. This is just a very modernistic design. It's the idea of using the sort of protective glass and then the carpet on the top. And I've just used a very neutral background so that you can see the technique in its entirety without trying to just make the whole thing look very nice. So there are multiple ways of making this look good. And indeed, the next design is kind of building off that idea. And this is more as an outdoor fire example. I know it's against a wall at the moment, but if you just replicated it all the way around, put it in the middle of this little area here, it would work really well. As you can see the fire from all angles, again we're using trapdoors a lot, but it's just such a fantastic block for all these kind of designs. Next up, we have a very weird one, but it is pretty cool as well. We're essentially making a water fountain design. So we've got some dispensers down the bottom there. You can use glass, but I recommend not. Basically, we've got a load of barrier blocks that are propping up this water spout. So it essentially looks like a fountain is going up and then it's coming down, but without making it really, really bulky. Now you might want to actually put a bunch of water down in the basin itself instead of just the grass, but you get the idea. And there's loads of ways that you can make a fountain more complex through using barriers to support exactly where they go. However, you won't be able to jump through it as many people will perhaps think. Next up is another chair and table design. I've showed this table design many times before. It's more about this chair, again, using iron trap doors. Now, the way that we activate them and keep them activated is we actually place them just to the side, activate them with a redstone block, and then add a piston on the other side and activate said piston and it pushes it in place without actually deactivating the trap door. And then we put a couple of signs either side and you've got yourself a little stool sitting on the floor. We've got another couple of chair designs here. This one's more of a lounger. This one is just a more high backed chair than perhaps other designs. Of course, you can't sit on this one properly. You have to stand on it, but then chairs are all meant to be kind of decorative in Minecraft anyway, but it's just another option for your households. So we're not even finished with the trap doors. We've got a brand new one. Now, this is an interesting concept and technique and basically what it is, is we don't have a block that sits in between like that. You see that the, there's two blocks and it just doesn't quite fit. 
but we can essentially put upright trap doors on top of each other back to back as well and it will sit directly in the middle of two upside down staircases or two staircases on the floor so we can create an archway using this technique hopefully that makes sense but essentially this allows us to make more complicated builds in a smaller space which is as i said earlier quite difficult to do but it, with a little bit of technique a little bit of patience and experimentation you can make some really cool designs so as you can see i made a very quick archway if I wanted to do that with full blocks, it would need to be at least two times as large. So we fit quite a lot of shape into a small space and you can do the same using quartz and iron trap doors. So I've got a couple of examples to show you where you might use this. This is just a couple of furnaces and this is meant to be an extractor for an interior design. So instead of using a full block, we've got a much smaller design. And this is a slightly larger example. This is meant to be sort of an exterior, but instead of using a full block pillar, we have used two trap doors back to back and it creates a much thinner one. And of course it meets those two upside down staircases at the exact middle of the two. So you can see that this has a lot of options available. So back onto the furniture stuff, we've got another one here. Now these doors are floating due to well did it. If you want these to sit normally in vanilla, you will probably have to put a barrier block down there because as soon as the block's gone, they will vanish. So you can get well did it on my plot server. The IP is in the description if you want to play around with those sorts of techniques. Next is another well did it trick. Now this is actually a really cool one. I try to avoid non vanilla techniques, but this one is so cool. Essentially, it's just two ends of the bed pasted either side of each other so that we've got two ends together And when they meet they create a pretty cool looking footstool now Obviously your legs are not long enough in Minecraft But it's just decorative when you put one of these in your living room It makes a great addition next up We've got some designs for your kitchen now using barrier block technique again putting one underneath your birch door in this case you can create some pretty cool looking cabinets along with some item frames with some carpet on the top it's all about creating entire sets much like in a real house you wouldn't just have one cabinet you would have a whole series of them that work really well together and that's what i kind of wanted to show you here today especially with the use of those doors next up we've got another sort of cabinet design this one is vanilla and this one uses weld edit now we'll try and show you the weld edit versus the vanilla ones so you just use a couple of doors, trap doors, custom head perhaps, and then put some shelves in the middle of them. The reason we use the acacia door is because you can see through it and it's almost like a bars of its own. So this one is just stacked doors, but only using the bottom half using weld edit. So you can create some much better techniques using weld edit which is a bit of a bummer really because i know that a lot of you don't actually have access to it but i wanted to share that with you anyway this design is a washing machine now it's actually using again trap doors of the iron sort but what we do as i showed you earlier is you take your piston and your redstone block or power it however you want you activate it and then push it into place using a piston. Now, that is quite a lengthy process, but once everything's in place, it should be fine. So as long as you don't update any of the blocks, they should remain as they are. So the rest of the design is actually fairly easy. We've got a square using the staircases that go all the way around. We've got some glass at the back and then a bit of slab on the top. Now, do not press this button. I repeat, do not press this button because that trap door will go up and it will never come down again. So I'm going to leave that there to trigger you guys to remind you not to press that button. But for a modern design, it is a really cool one. Next up, we've got some curtains. Lots of people don't actually put curtains in their interiors. And it's something that everyone has in the real life. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do it. The only thing is that you really need a large space, a big window for it to work. So we've got the curtain pole using the end rods. And we've actually got a shulker box that decorates those wool bits of curtain. And a couple of custom heads either end. So it looks like the whole thing sort of goes through and is supporting the curtain. It's a really nice technique 
and it works again because of those end rods being able to be placed horizontally like that. Next up, in, and our final one indeed, is the TV design. So this is intended for a modern house, again, a larger one. So what we've got is a framework using dark oak, and then we've got black concrete directly in the middle, but making sure there's a space all the way around, and a couple of custom heads to decorate, some buttons, a few pots, and it is two blocks thick, and it's the main thing of it. So. This is a really cool design for your modern house. So that is all of the decorations that I have for you today. And I need to say a big thank you to two people in particular, Pelescent Moon and Pajazzle, who both helped me put together many of these designs. And we're gonna go cycle all the way through them as we always do, just to remind you of what we've just been through. And I want you to try and take away some of these techniques from these little designs and see if you can build on them your own, make them fit into your designs and your houses. That's what these videos are all about, creating some inspiration, getting those brainwaves flowing, using blocks in ways that you perhaps wouldn't think so, such as the anvils and the hoppers and that kind of thing, all of those lamppost designs, thinking about how you can break up some interior, and using weird things like barriers and end rods. I know that a lot of those blocks are very expensive to use, but most of us that watch this channel actually use creative, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we've got loads of furniture designs, loads of techniques, and my absolute favorite, the lamp. <laughs> So that's it everyone, thank you very very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and the thought going through my mind right now is that we're never going to come up with enough designs to do another one of these videos, but I'm pretty sure we will end up doing one of these in the future. Thank you very much again, goodbye!